In this video, I will explain how to log into NetResponse using the tablet provided to you. Before you begin, you will need your username and password. If you don't have this with you and you want to follow along with these instructions, please pause the video and find your username and password. The tablet you received is preloaded with the NetResponse application and has its own built-in cellular link. That means that you can send your health check information regardless of whether or not you have your own personal cell phone or data plan. It also works over Wi-Fi. So if you have a Wi-Fi internet connection at home, you can also use that. It's up to you. To start using the tablet, first remove the tablet and the tablet user guide from the box. After viewing the video, please take a moment to read Medtronic's Tablet User Guide. This guide will help you understand the basics of using your tablet, including how to turn it on and how to keep it charged. Okay, let's go over that now. You will want to charge the tablet before you start a health check. You will find the power cable in the same box as the tablet. Find the charger port at the top of the tablet here and insert the small end of the USB cable into the charger port. Then insert the large end of the USB cable into the charging head. Once that's done, you can insert the charging head into any standard power outlet. It may take up to four hours to fully charge the tablet, but you can use it while it's still charging. Now that the tablet is charged, let's turn it on and log into NetResponse. To turn your tablet on, press firmly and hold down the power button until your tablet starts up. Because of the protective cover, you have to press pretty hard. This same button is used to turn off your tablet. Once the tablet is on, swipe the screen with your finger and you will see the NetResponse application on the main screen. This tablet can only be used with NetResponse. Tap the NetResponse icon with your finger to open it. The application will prompt you to enter your username and password. Enter the username and password exactly as they were given to you. The password is case sensitive. In my case, my username is gsmith1 and my password is medtronic123 with a capital M and an exclamation mark. I type in gsmith1 on the keyboard. Next, to enter the capital M, I tap on the upward arrow, press on M, then enter the rest of the letters and numbers. To enter the exclamation mark, press the SIM sign and then the exclamation mark symbol. Next, click Login and wait for the next screen to load. If you are logging into the NetResponse application for the first time, you will see the Terms of Use statement. After reading through the terms, select Accept. If you choose to decline, you will be sent back to the login screen and will not be able to use NetResponse. Once you have accepted the Terms of Use, you will be prompted to enter an email address for your NetResponse account. This will be used to help you recover your username or password if you forget them. If you don't have an email address or prefer not to provide one, simply click Don't Ask Me Again or Skip For Now. If you choose to provide an email address, it will need to be verified. Select Verify Email, then select Send Verification Email. An email with an activation code will be sent to your email inbox. Open your email to find the activation code and enter this code into the gray box on the NetResponse screen. Click on Verify Code. The code will only be valid for 30 minutes, so if you end up running errands and the time runs out, you can always request a new code by clicking Send New Code. Once your email has been verified, you will not need to go through these verification steps again. Now you're ready to begin a health check.